The following video demonstrates hydraulic ventilation. Once knockdown is achieved, interior personnel can utilize air entrainment to quickly exhaust their environment. By doing so, personnel can improve interior conditions, exhausting the toxic and superheated gases and creating a more tenable environment for victims awaiting a rescue. To begin, the firefighter positions himself roughly six feet away from an opening. The firefighter begins by flowing a straight stream through the window frame. After doing so, the stream's pattern can slowly turn into a 60 degree fog, entraining and exhausting up to 12,000 cubic feet of air, equivalent to a gas powered ram fan. Understand that openings could be of various sizes, so adjust the nozzle accordingly. Notice how the stream exits the opening without encompassing the frame. As doing so will seal off the space and prevent its ability to exhaust. As demonstrated in this video, the time it takes to exhaust the environment and bring fresh air in is immediate. To clarify, this technique is not replacing truck company work, nor should ventilation be exclusive to this technique. This is a tool for the toolbox. The take home message is to choose whatever option best serves the victims. And what best serves the victims is to cool the environment and remove its toxic gases as fast as possible. If this could be achieved, the potential to locate and produce survivable outcomes goes up dramatically. What makes this a viable option is that the nozzle is already in the hands of the fire attack team. Bypassing the time it takes for setup and coordination, this option makes the transition of knockdown to ventilation seamless.